Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start strapping out this roof ready for the roof sheet. So I'm just setting, setting the heights of these uh, counter batten straps to begin with. And obviously you don't want it to go beyond one side of the roof and hit the other. So I'll just use that wee straight edge to project that side of the roof up. And I'm coming back just a wee inch or so just to the edge of the sarkin there. I'm just going to stitch that in place, measure down to where I want it to be at the bottom. This is the setup, first strap on, following this line along the bottom, that's nice and parallel with the top of the roof. We can work to that, we can put our bottom batten on that and we know we've got nice, two nice straight lines to work with. I mean it's really more for aesthetics really to keep these uh, Keep our batten lines nice and evenly spaced and then we'll mess about with this eave detail afterwards. We're not going to nail the very bottom of the now so we can slip up underneath that with some uh, felt or a, some sort of eave tray. And we've also, once we get our batten on, we'll need to get our fly mesh around the bottom of that to stop creatures getting up underneath the roof but allow airflow all the way to the top. But on, just do the, the end verges are a wee bit different because uh, this is all uh, brick rather than timber. We need to, what I'll probably do is just wait till we put our battens on, we'll shoot them across, straight edge them across, and then we'll fix a timber underneath each one just so it's got a nice fixing. It's quite a bridge back to the, the last rafter just for uplift. Uh, the midges are absolutely fierce today, it's pretty hard going. So we've nailed it down on our mark in the bottom and then we come up the top. I've got my rafter mark there, so the centre that. I'll do this with one hand. So we know that's hitting the rafter top and bottom and then what I do is just usually eye it down not too bad that one, but give that wee wiggle in the middle. Then we know it's nice and straight. And just nail it. So same here again. The bead's the same thickness as my two battens. And I hold it up. So a 20 mil thickness of the roof sheet. And then on top of that, I know my ridge is 200 mil. So I measure from where that will be down and then come back up about 25 mil for where we'll be screwing our, our line. That's, so that's the centre of our batten. So we're just starting to fill in our battens now. We've done our tops and bottoms nice and parallel, all as good as we can get it. And then we just split the difference. These are working out about seven, eight, seven, eight, six. Usually we would just divide it by 900 and then adjust. So we get a nice even, Nice even spacing, so we're just going to get, I've just stitched this first one on because it'll have to come off for a reeve detail, but we're going to fix this one down and then we can work our way up the roof from there. That's so us got battened out on this side. The, the bottom one's just stitched on, as I mentioned before, because we've got a wee eave detail there. Uh, there'll be a wee bit of additional battening going on around this roof light. I'm still, I just, I want to get the roof light here so I know exactly what's going on, because I've never fitted this style of roof light before. So I'm not going to commit too much to these battens until I get that here. Then I can alter it, make life easier for ourselves. Uh, we're just running the ends through the now and we'll ping a line and cut these. We'll 
try and kind of use the wall as our plumb guide. It won't be completely spot on, but it'll be close enough. Really just, well, what it'll have to be is just back a couple inches probably from the end. Because we're going to, that's going to be lime render build up here and you don't want the lime. I think the lime will come to the underside of the roof sheet, so we'll probably cut it back a wee bit. And I might, I'll judge whether we put a fixing in there into the stone. Just so that, that's quite solid actually. What we're just worried about is wind uplift getting under the verge. Um, because we don't have a fascia board or anything to fix onto. But that'll do the job. So we're just going to move around the front of the house now and carry on with that. The, uh, the, the colours go together pretty well, it's almost main. Move around the front now and thankfully the sun is out and there's also a nice breeze so the midges are off. It was uh, pretty brutal earlier on there. Uh, there's a wee bit more work on this side for uh, strapping out with these dormers. So obviously we've got we've got a, we've got strap valleys out all the way around both dormers. All a wee bit more time consuming than the other side, and we've got the roof light in the middle. Just been beat for time. We've got 15 minutes for the ferry, so I'm gonna have to shoot off. And I'm about three lengths of two by inch short as well. But we've very nearly completed all the roof strapping, which is good. A wee bit of work to do inside the valleys themselves, to pack them out a wee bit more, just so they're not so deep for when they get down to the fascia board. Well, not the fascia board to the gutter, and a wee bit of packing to do around the roof lights. But yeah, pretty. Pretty happy with progress today. Turned into a good day, starting to turn again now that the weather. Right, better run to the ferry. Cheers for now.